Hey you guys, here is Mark the Geek. Like you guys know, I love customizing my phone more than twice a week. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys a couple tips that I'm going to do to make my phone have some features from the iOS 7 because there are some features from iOS 7 that I actually like. Uh, for example, the wallpaper. Look at the live wallpaper. It looks very cool. Um, this live wallpaper, you can get it for free and it's a uh, iOS 7 live wallpaper at the Google Play Store. Uh, let me go ahead and touch here, go to wallpaper. This is the HTC one. So yours might be different. This is how it looks. So where to find it, all you gotta do is make sure you see iOS live wallpaper. Here you can also change the colors. Of course it has some ads, but this is totally free. Uh, here in colors, you can go ahead and change it to blue if you want. Go back and this is how it would look. Uh, let go out and this is how it look. looks very cool. But honestly, I like the red a lot better. Let's go here. Let's go here, let's go here, uh, skip. And of course, you can also control the frames per second. Right now, it's set on 30, but you can go ahead and change the frame per second. And there's a couple more features you could do, like quantity, uh, normal. Let's go ahead and change the color back to red, because that's what I like there. But like I said, you could get this for free from the Google Play Store. Also to change the icons. Uh, if you want to change the icons the way they look, uh, I'm using Apex Launcher. You could also use Nova Launcher or Go Launcher. Uh, right here for Apex Launcher, I'm just gonna have, go ahead, press and hold, um, edit here in the icon, I'm gonna touch it, select from icon packs, and here I downloaded iOS 7 icon packs and themes. So right there, I go ahead and select that, and right here I have a couple choices that I can select from. For example, I could go ahead and choose this and click OK and now my clock looks like that. Here this is my browser. This is the next browser. Let's touch right here, over here, over here. And I could go ahead and make my browser look like this and this. Voila. Very cool. Over here this is the mail app that I use. So just go ahead and click there. Click there, click there, and the mail was the mail was the mail. This is the mail right there. Very cool. And the camera. Let's go ahead and change the camera too. Boom, 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 and the camera. I like the way the icon looks right there. The iOS camera looks very cool. So that's it. And so on, so on. Uh, of course, this app keeps getting updated. So the more update it gets, the more um, apps. You're going to be able to customize like that. For example, a Flipboard, I can't customize it because I, I don't think there's a Flipboard icon. But sometimes they get updated and you're going to see a Flipboard icon. Uh, maybe, like you see right here, there's a Twitter icon. There's a Google Play icon right there. And a Maps, there's a lot of things here. You can uh, actually customize to make it look like a Facebook calculator, uh, text messaging, a lot of cool stuff there. So that's it. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to cancel that. And right here, I want to show you guys a very cool app called Control Center. Control Center is an app that lets you have the Control Center. I think it's called Control Center on iOS 7. That lets you swipe app up and see all the all the controls. It looks pretty cool. So first of all, you're going to download this, which is totally free, Control Center and the Google Play Store. Make sure this is set to start. Um, over here, touchable areas, you can set it up. The font is the center. This is how I have it. I have no problem there because the HTC has no button in the center. But you might have problems if you have another different phone um, that has um, buttons on the screen. Like for example, the Galaxy Nexus or the Nexus 4. Uh, you might want to choose uh, the right or the left. I'm just choosing the center because I, I have no buttons in the middle. And also you can control, put vibrate on or vibrate off, but I'm gonna leave it on and that's it now let's go ahead and swipe from up from the bottom and look at that now I have awesome looking control center where it gives me the option to do turn on or off the Bluetooth the Wi-Fi I could go ahead and turn it back on um, here I got the Bluetooth as well data airplane mode airplane mode automatically shuts everything off I'm gonna turn it back on Turn data on. Um, here I could go ahead and control auto brightness as well. I could touch here 
and control for example put it all, all the way over there but of course my phone when you're gonna do some changes I have to turn it off and on and right away you're gonna see all the changes right there very 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 bright so let's go ahead and back again and let's go ahead and select select auto brightness and let's turn it off again let's turn it back on and there it goes a lot better now uh, go there up um, here I can also control the volume you can also control the ringer uh, here you can turn um, vibration on you can turn it off let's turn it off here you got the silent mode on and off over here you got a flashlight very cool you can turn it off here you got uh, the clock and you can turn it off here uh, you can also customize these app for example I could touch and hold and when you touch and hold it should take you right here or you could choose, go ahead and choose a couple apps that you want to put there instead of the cam instead of the the clock you could go ahead and put another um, app if you want but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the clock right there the calculator you see here uh, let's go back up again and the camera like you see perfectly what else can I do here and over here this little symbol I don't know what that was for but okay game center which um, totally makes no sense for um, Google Play but hey game center is there but let me see what happens if some apps you can customize some apps you can't like for example this one I can't customize it like you see I can't customize it but maybe later on when it gets an update it might get be able to customize it here all you're gonna have is some games that most likely you have to download from the from the Google Play Store which are totally free but like you see pretty cool um, they, um, nice control center it, and it also looks a little bit frosty you see you can see right through it very cool also if you are on the lock screen I'm sure you got the lock screen you can also access it from the lock screen here very cool very nice and that's it um, if you're asking me what what this lock screen is uh, this is the hollow um, lock screen it makes it look like a def like a stock Android you can see right here I could choose a camera or I could go ahead to Google now which is very cool I like that stock Android and that's um, let me see if I can see it here um, it should be somewhere right here let me see utility this is it right here um, hollow locker that's a very cool um, locker it just makes your um, lock screen if you have have the HTC one it makes your lock screen look like a default and you can customize these two you could change these if you don't like want that you could change these two but I let these be because that's the way it is on on the Nexus devices you got the Google here and you got the the camera right there and that's it so guys that's it for this video I just want to show you guys I'm um, here having a little bit fun customizing my phone and that way you can also see the control center which is a very cool um, um, app which is totally free and you should try it because it's totally free you might like it so guys till next time I hope you guys like the video